those who don't know, Brandon Jamal is a, I believe he's a rapper. Brandon Jamal is a rapper and he has this whole uh, campaign of a single mom. This the single mom song that has been going crazy on TikTok and Instagram and wherever else you can hear it. Um, so it's been very viral with that. Um, he's been doing his his thing with that, and he apparently got a chance to get on the Fresh and Fit podcast, the notorious Fresh and Fit podcast, where you know WWE style things happen. You know, I'm surprised. Uh, Fresh and Fit has never been on No Jumper because they literally are one and the same. But that's a, that's that's another that's for another day. Um, I'm going ahead and I'm going to be reacting to Brandon Jamal being on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Um, yeah, let's do this. Hit the tracks, Brandon. You heard the story that about Brandon? Yeah. Yeah, you've covered it all. It all sounds pretty basic. Um, <laughs> actually, except for you. Let me get a round of applause for this Caucasian woman right here. Every day she got down. Okay. <laughs> Are you Russian? Um, or I am half Italian, half Caucasian. So white and white. What is that? Oh, yeah. Okay, Lorraine, it's a province between France and Germany. Um, it was German when my family immigrated over to Sicily in the 20s. Oh, okay. oh, oh well. Okay, my cool. bad. You, so, so you people are actually from there, not like... My people have been here for four generations. Are we still? I mean, we're right? Italian and German. Two, three, three generations, two or three. Ah, uh, yeah. So what I, I mean, we our genealogy goes back like uh, we have everything mapped out. No, she definitely <laughs> looks like it though. Yeah, but if your grandparents are from here, no, they'll look at her. I feel like Russian. I feel like my nose is from here. So this is so I, I get apparently he's having like a coy with this Caucasian woman about like where she's actually from. It's an interesting back and forth because I mean, he could literally be like, "Like, are you fully black?" <laughs> she could just literally say, "Like, are you fully black?" Like, or, or "Are you mixed?" And then that could just open up a whole other floodgate of stuff. But I digress. Yeah, how do you know, why did you in America <laughs> always say that shit? Like, your grandparents are from America. You're white and I'm Caucasian and American. Just accept that shit. You're not Italian. You're not fucking French. That's what I mean, it all means the same thing. We didn't go over the ethnicity French. question yet, though. So. Didn't you just say your education level is yada, yada, yada? Well, First of all, what is your education level again? Oh, I'm just a high school graduate. That's what I but thought. I li- but I listen with both ears. But guess what? I almost graduated, oh but then God. I missed the teacher. Fuck you, Miss X. She was <laughs> like, if you miss one more day of school, then you're not going to graduate. So you didn't go bitch. to the one day of school? <laughs> no. Like, legitimately. Let me, let me speak on this. But, like, this is, like, the cutting my brain cells right now listening to this because I just don't understand why why I don't understand why women go into this show bro like literally why do y'all go into this show y'all be like the women that be putting they self up there on this show just be embarrassing themselves bro we know this show is no- notorious for like doing a whole bunch of random stuff getting they be get they be getting they be getting women on they be getting soft brain women on on their show to sit there and get like sit there and get like asked just all these questions that they know they can't answer then they be getting the most animated man to sit up there and basically basically you know what I'm saying be like Ask like mad crazy questions and 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 then just to make them look a certain way, just to make the man that sits on the platform look a certain way and make fresh and fit look a certain way. They be getting soft brained women to come on their show. It's a damn shame, bro. I don't even understand how anybody could sit up there and, and pay them niggas money. Pay them niggas money just to sit up there and watch that and be Enjoying that shit. Just don't make sense. Oh, the thing is, I missed <laughs> multiple days of school after that. 
Okay. All right. They, um, they don't even do it themselves. Yeah, <laughs> question for you. Uh, I was through, working. Shortly through the crime, did your parents like feel any like jail time or anything? Like, Where I worked for? Yeah, like for instance, you're, you're <laughs> this nigga with the damn school. Like, oh, what happened? Parents I don't like, think they they with, with these damn wow. pampers. What the hell? What is this motherfucker? What the what, Aiden? But yeah, I mean, normally, you know, they with these damn pampers, bro. Yeah, no, they used to tell me that they're like blah blah blah, and I'm just. <laughs> no, the thing is, I did start showing up to school, but then I would get there at 10 o'clock in the morning. Because I'm not going to lie, I started dancing when I was 18. So I would leave Connecticut, take a train to New York, and then come back to Connecticut, and then make it there, like, go home at, like, 8 o'clock, and then, like, take a shower, get ready for school. I, would used to, I used to skip first period, which was her class specifically. And then that's why she knew that, like, you know, like, I was skipping. I wasn't really skipping. I just always missed first period, which was her class. She was snitch, huh? Yeah, <laughs> fuck that bitch. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, she was right though. At 18. No, she wasn't. That's why her. Jo- that's why I get paid more than her. Fuck Miss Ash. Not fuck all money, is good money. Damn. No, it's good for me. <laughs> it was good for me, and it's still good for me. Hey, okay. Hey, you, you, you disagree? You said not all money is good money. Let me ask you. Like, is that supposed to be a sob story or something? You have every like, y- like, person like a a a a female like this has every opportunity to like. Do something great for herself, but she chooses to do the latter. Like, we all have choices in this life. Even with bad situations, there are people who have been in way worse situations in life, damn near on their deathbed, but have rejuvenated their whole entire life with a few quick steps away from the negativity, away from the things that can like potentially destroy them and then there are the latter like that like that like that female right there doing whatever she did to get where she is now which i don't know i, I don't i don't know i don't know is she expecting like a, a pat on the back or some sympathy for that i, I don't get that say that because i feel like there's a lot of money that people are missing out that are um i guess in the way of morale or integrity damn oh shit that was solid what you like your whole yeah like all that word vomit all i heard was i used to go out late at night and i couldn't get my lazy ass up an hour early i couldn't get my lazy ass up an hour early to go to fucking school like nobody gives a fuck that people like it's great that me people, i just said i was dancing i, I literally you, i didn't interrupt you when you spoke i'm gonna let you finish I, but you're wrong you. though because i did work and then i would still make it in the I'll morning i'll podcast because you can't get these bitches under control bro <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm like, like, <laughs> okay baby father i didn't interrupt her when, I, when she spoke did i it's cold it's cold bro, bro. bro. Did, did, did i interrupt her when she spoke Wait, go, go, go ahead go ahead you seem a little girlyish too Oh, shit. Sure. Well, well, I am kind of sassy because bitches define sassy as a man who won't take care of shit. So I'm sassy as fuck, bitch. Your nose is sassy, up. too. Oh, and it costs $300 also. Oh, so bitch. does my belly button ring. <laughs> oh my God. All I heard was this lazy ass bitch got a job at night and she couldn't get up to go to school. Well, I didn't. It's not that I would. No, here's, no, here's, here's, here's the thing I will say. A couple of times when DJ Academics was on Fresh and Fit, he was doing this exact same thing, interrupting all. He, he practically interrupted all the women that were that were on the panel. And Fresh and Fit didn't say jack shit to him. He was saying what he wanted to say. He was drunk. He was saying what he wanted to say. He was disrespecting all the females in the room. But since this guy is, you know what I'm saying, talking back and, and, and trying to, like, put whoever this woman is, I was given that sob story, whatever. Um, did like he's trying to give her back. He he's trying to give her a response, you know. And usually, usually on Fresh and Fit, you you can, like I said, a lot the male, the males that they bring on there, be talking like this to the females. But I guess since th- this this Brandon Jamal dude isn't their friend. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they like, hey, bro, chill out, da 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 da. I mean, like, if Tony, it, uh, Tony, Tommy Sotomayor was talking like how bro was talking, they wouldn't interrupt him or interject to him. But I'm guessing since their fresh and fit might not be actually like friends, friends with Brandon Jamal, 
That's probably why they like trying to act a sort of way too. We used to go to sleep. I didn't even go to sleep. That's the whole thing. I used to get out of fucking six so in the morning. So why the fuck did you take your ass to school if you didn't go to sleep? The more you talk, the stupider you sound. I just literally said. Let's go to the chat. The more you talk, the stupider you sound. The fucking 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 stupider you sound. You got off of work. Didn't yeah, go to sleep. You didn't have your dumb ass to go to school on time. Why would I get out of the strip club and not take a shower? Like, guys, how about this? How about this? How about this? Oh my god. It took you 45 minutes to an hour to take a shower. You couldn't go to school. Did your parents? I just said I got out of the strip club. Bro, this is these diapers, bro. And then we'll just go one mic at a time. Oh, no, no. You want to move? You don't want to? Oh, no, no. She said enough. Yeah, yeah. She's an idiot. I just want to let Brandon finish his thing. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck over here. And then we'll let her respond. I think they like me better. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Who is this guy? I just heard of him today. Let me tell you who this guy is. I just heard of him today. Let me tell you who this guy is. I just heard of him today. This guy is goofy. I'm not going to lie. Can I tell you who I am? Can I tell you who I am? Real quick, bitch. Can I tell you? If you don't mind. I know guys from TikTok grew from 70K to 300K in a month and a half because of one. I'm the motherfucker whose video got 2 million views on YouTube. I'm telling you who I am, bitch. I'm breaking it down. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. I'm the motherfucker whose video got 2 million views in less than two months and only promotion has been his social media. I'm the oh. motherfucker who got 1,500 out, 1,500 orders of merchandise. That's my silhouette on the logo. Oh, T-shirts, motherfucking 1500 hoodies. 1,500 orders, mm. motherfucker. I stutter. My right, bad. 1,500 <laughs> orders. I mean, you gotta, get, you gotta give him credit, though, man. Like, no major label backing him. No, no nothing. Just independent. Doing it on TikTok. Doing it on Instagram. Doing it on YouTube. He's really grinding. As a music, like as a, I mean, musician or rapper, um, whatever he calls himself, and that's what that independent thing is about. You gotta, I, I gotta give him credit. I gotta commend him on that because it's tough out here to, you know, what I'm saying, go viral. It's tough out here for even for people to even like go and listen to your music, you know. But with the internet, the thing is. When you want to become something, the only way you will win with the internet is if you're consistent. Consistency, like consistency trumps everything. Nobody can say anything to somebody who is consistently doing live streams, consistently making music and putting it out every week, every, every day. Nobody can tell those people anything because they're grinding. They're grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. The same person that people will sit in the comments and say, oh, this dude is trash. Why is he making live streams all the time? Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? Are, are the same people who are going to be dick riding him later when he blows up and everybody starts saying, oh, yeah. Oh, man, what? Like, bro, he's he's amazing. He's dope. Da -da 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 -da. Meanwhile, six months ago, a year ago, you were saying that he was trash. Like, I wouldn't, there's no loyalty on the internet, but consistency wins everything. Niggas is buying stickers with my logo on them. Motherfuckers, uh, t-shirts with my logo on them. I got a song in Spanish that motherfuckers been begging for. I thought you were going to say 100,000. Niggas said, what did you say? My YouTube channel grew from 9,000 to 118,000 in a month and a half. Shut the fuck up when you talk to me, bitch. I'm at the door at this time because in real life, I wasn't. She says she's a man beater. But so since you don't go to school, you don't realize that you're a motherfucker. First of all, you're in the same place as I am, am, so what does that mean? He like, said, he said, I called the police if you hit me. I'm gonna reset here. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, we can say that. He'll call the police if you hit me. She put her hands on her. I'm gonna find out. And I don't care which one of you guys here is talking all the men's sexuality in here. You know, that's what they do when they're wrong. They go to the sexual. No, nah, facts. I was just about to say that. A tale as old as time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time as old as time. A future single mom. Oh, right. Not for men. <laughs> nah, didn't you just say earlier during the introductions you let go and let God and let niggas nut all in you? Uh, mm. no, I don't. That's exactly what I'm saying. Know. You're not on Because you know, if I was talking to a million niggas, I'm definitely it not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you literally said you were. I listen with both. E listen, well, God made me with two eyes. Two eyes. And, and my question is, are you even fucking? Yeah, do you get pussy? God do you get pussy? Eyes. I know. I know you don't get no pussy. Twice as much as I you don't look like you got no pussy. Okay. We'll just move on. Yeah, we'll just move on. Because y'all are. Why are you looking at him? He's breaking a sweat. Nigga, sweating, wiping his hair with the diaper. Oh, I love to be 
This is not Black Friday. Uh, this is Cash here as well. Uh, Tommy, what do you think about this so far, bro? Stressed out by a dumbass bitch who couldn't even go to school. Yeah, you still stressed out. I still stressed you out. I didn't hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Sorry, Brandon and 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 guess and girls. And get Brandon. What did you just say? What's your name? Hold up. Tell me your name. Brandon. Tell me your name. I don't know your name. Because you're not fucking important. Guys, thank you. She's not fucking important. You said Brandon and guess. This thing is hilarious. I go, I go lie, I go lie. This nigga is roasting the hell out of her. He roasted the hell out of her. He roasted the hell out of her. Branded a guest. Dude, don't even know her name. They know. They're about to know my name now. Person. Right. And I'm pretty sure that nobody here knows your name okay. except okay. for Scott. Uh, you go get a room after this. Yeah. 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 I'd rather yeah. get a room yeah. with one of these bitches than with him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Watch that shit go down. I'm not even gonna lie. You're not invited. Okay. Oh, man. Fantastic. Uh, it's okay. Put a diaper on. Is this for you? It's okay. The hub is popping. I don't have to watch these bitches. I can do it. Let's stick it here. <laughs> and, and dark black girl threesome right now on the hub. Yeah, you can't afford another subscription for OnlyFans. Why would I subscribe to a bitch's OnlyFans when the hub is popping oh for free? My God. <laughs> Why in God's name would I oh ever? Oh my goodness. That's just you. Do you know how vast the hub is? Yeah. Have y'all been on the hub? You ain't never been on the hub? Oh my God. Yeah. This nigga here. They got everything oh on the hub. Oh my God. God. Right here? Actual attraction. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Bro, she was real Low key. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sleeping with a man. That's because we already know what's going on. Oh, we already know. All right, um, Tommy, welcome. <laughs> right, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, uh, uh, Tommy, you've been quiet this whole time. What's yeah. so far? What are your thoughts? Yeah. Going punch. Listen, I don't go for this kind of fight. I don't get in the fight. You <laughs> really? <laughs> Well, last time you were here, what's up? What's up, the Pets? What's up, the Pets? Listen, I'm hot as Red Devil right now. My taking battles uh, wisely. That's what he said. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. You yeah. Yeah. love it. I believe him. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Mary, I believe him. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That, that last time it happened, uh, but she did hit him first, so. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, uh, so apparently he got kicked off of here. Maybe not too far after. Um, not too far after this. Let me just see if I can find it. If there's anything else I can find on it, but apparently he got kicked the hell out. Let me see. Let me see, just real quick. <laughs> Let me see, real quick. <clears throat> the mindset that I'm kind of dealing right now is a little bit selfish. Y'all, I'm sorry, but you guys are all, like, saying all this stuff, but you guys are all, like, my age, and no one's married yet. No one's married. Like, no one has an official relationship. Like You mean the women or the men here? Everybody. Who is the viral nigga you are not? May I speak? What the fuck? Are we here for these bitches or me and bro? Like, for real. Like, can I think if there was only men on the show, I don't think it would be and nobody else talk. You want to hear what this Gap and Heifer has to say except for the viral niggas? What the fuck is going on? Okay, yeah, all right. I see now. Get the fuck out, man. I don't care. Get the fuck out, man. I see. Get the fuck out, bro. I see now. Right, who is this guy? What the fuck? LOL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a cornball. You're doing too much, man. Yeah, I mean, he didn't get kicked off. He, he left. <laughs> now you're singlemom.com. Get your money. I'm not single. What a weirdo. For sex, for sex. You left your diapers. You know you're expensive. You can't. I don't know if you're going to be able to. Yeah, man. This guy was stocking diapers the entire time. Like, yeah, you can tell when somebody never had anything in their damn life and they keep bringing up, I did this on it. Yeah. Like you got all oh, yeah. yeah. like the stickers. Tell me, Tommy, can, you, can you make a million yeah, dollars off TikTok? Yeah, I see these dudes. It's like cool. they're just corny as hell. You can, you tell he's never done anything. He didn't do anything in mm -hmm. high school. Didn't do anything in college. And the only thing you have yeah. is this, and you just keep saying it, and it got ugly and irritating. Yeah. yeah. But I do want to say this. Yo, uh, get him out of here, bro. Get him out, here. Chris. Yeah. Get him out of here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's what. It did, and then I knew it was going there. That's why I wasn't saying shit. He was getting on my fucking nerves. I can see you getting on your face. Like, you were just getting on my nerves. And you know, I usually, when I'm here, I'm. That shit is just. Uh, yeah, um, so, you know, 
at this point, everyone's on the same page here, and uh, now the mess is gone, so to speak, and it feels like a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, Looks like what is that? That's a sweat. It's a sweat diaper. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what gyro? This is crazy. Seems like he was talking. It seems like Myron was uh, talking to the bro. No, it was just a level of disrespect. It was a level of disrespect. Yeah, it seems like he went out there and he was talking to him. Which, I mean, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what dude was on, but man. Other than that, he was actually entertaining. He was, he was, re- he was really going with with old girl. He was, she was spewing off at the mouth, and he, he was, he was give, he was giving, giving out what she was, what she was giving him. So, I mean, I don't know, if, I don't know what made him just like lash out and say, you know, fuck this. But I mean, at the, you know, at the same time. It, it, I mean, either they didn't do their research on him being like as him being the type of, you know, trying to figure out what type of uh, personality he is, or he didn't do his research on Fresh and Fit. One of the two. That's what I think it is. Um, hopefully, this doesn't really affect, you know, him as a creator or anything like that. Um, I, th- I think I think he can redeem himself and go to another platform and speak his piece. To be honest, I mean, like maybe go to Vlad TV or Say Cheese or something, or or get on stream with DJ Academics or something, and you know, redeem himself and and you know, speak his piece on this situation. But I'm gonna be moving on to 